is actually fighting for spending cuts. Who out there really wants the government out of health care? Tea Party lawmakers, of course. Joining me now, Representative Alan West, who ran as a Tea Party candidate. Congressman West, welcome here. Welcome to the Glenn Beck program. It's always a pleasure to work with you. Thanks, Judge. It's great to see you. Before we get on to the uh, debt, I want you to weigh in on another story that's making headlines today, uh, these crackpots at NPR. The White yeah. House says it doesn't think funding should be cut. But does the government really belong in broadcasting? No, they don't. And I think one of the things that needs to happen is NPR and uh, PBS and all the rest of them, they need to be out there and compete in the private sector, in the market, just the same as you have to do there at Fox. And if they end up going the way of Air America, that's uh, a reflection of the fact that they don't have a good marketing strategy. Can you guys keep the government from funding uh, NPR and other entities like that? Or the, is the president going to insist on it? Is Republican leadership going to cave on it? Well, I can tell you that one of the things that I will push for as one of the writers that went with H.R. 1, that needs to stay there. No matter what uh, we continue to propose as we go along that with the funding of the government for the rest of FY11. And I think as long as we have those voices heard, uh, the leadership will back us on that. All right. Last week, the House of Representatives passed, uh, Representatives passed a spending plan and sent it over to the Senate. Uh, today, the Senate rejected a Republican spending plan and it rejected a Democratic spending plan. What happens next? Are we up for another one of these ridiculous continuing resolutions, a fancy phrase for you can fund the government for another two weeks but no longer? Well, I think one of the things we have to do is to stand firm. When you look at the uh, report that came out last week from the GAO, the 345-page report, that said there are $100 billion to $200 billion of duplicative programs up here in Washington, D.C. When you look at the exorbitant amounts that we're spending on foreign aid, when you look at this report that's going around about the State Department spending American taxpayer dollars to refurbish mosques in the Islamic world, we've got a serious problem with the spending up in Washington, D.C. Perhaps the Senate Democrats, that they don't understand it, but we do over here in the House. All right, joining us now is your Republican colleague from the great state of Florida, Congressman Connie Mack. Congressman Mack, it's a pleasure. Welcome to the Glenn Beck program. Great to be with you, Judge. D does the Republican leadership in the House understand the true dangers that we face, the precipice that we're looking into, how enormous this debt is, and how this may be their last great chance to settle the debt issue? Or they want to go forward with some kind of a compromise with the Democrats in the Senate and the Democrat in the White House? Well, I can't, I can't speak for the leadership, but I can speak for myself, which is we are in deep trouble. Uh, and even the hundred billion that we talked about cutting isn't enough. I mean, instead of talking about, and we talked about this before, Judge, instead of talking about raising the debt ceiling limit, we should be talking about what we're going to cut so we don't have to raise the debt ceiling limit. In my opinion, why have a debt ceiling if all you're going to do when you approach it, raise it? It doesn't make any sense. I think there is a, a strong growing majority in the Congress that says enough is enough. We can't afford to continue to spend the way we are. We've talked about things like national uh, or NPR and Amtrak and right. National Endowments of the Arts. I mean, there's, we need to get serious about making these cuts and do it now. All right, your uh, colleague, Congressman West, standing next to you, has told me here and elsewhere that he will not vote to raise the national debt, no matter what kind of promises the Democrats make, and he will not vote for another two-week continuing resolution, which just, to use that phrase we all use, kick the can down the road for uh, another two weeks. Will you take the same pledge now, Congressman? Mac. Well, I have said over and over and over again that I'm not going to vote to raise the debt ceiling. As far as moving forward on the CR, if we can continue to get savings, I understand the political side of this, uh, and I'm willing to give my leadership a little bit of room with that. But at the end of the day, we need to get serious about these cuts. So if we go to another two-week CR, but we get significant cuts in spending uh, in return, uh, that is something that I am in, interested in uh, continuing to help support. Congressman but, West, is it time for the government to be shut down if the White House and Congress can't agree in order to force the president's hand and compel him to do what we hired him to do, which is run the government within the confines of the Constitution and only with the money he collects from taxes and other fees? 
Well, you're absolutely right, Judge. You know, what we have to look at is the president is the chief executive officer of this corporation called the United States of America. Look, he uh, told the vice president that he would be part of this, uh, this budget process, but now the vice president has left the country. So I don't think you see any seriousness coming out of the White House. The bottom line is this. We have a situation that we have to deal with. And I think that the American people, if we continue down the road of subsequent two-week CRs, there's just more uncertainty, right. unpredictability that we are creating out there. And when you have that uncertainty, then you're also creating a lack of trust and confidence right. in who we are and what we were sent here to be. You know, I spent 22 years being a leader in the United States Army, and uh, that's what I'm up here to do is to show my leadership. Con Congressman West, Congressman Mac, you guys have your work cut out for you. <laughs> Thanks yes, for the do. time. Thanks for the time you spent with us on the Glenn Beck program. We truly appreciate it. Thank you so much, Judge.